Hello everybody and welcome to my new let's look at slash what in the world is Dual Gear. Dual Gear is in a pre-alpha state right now and it is a giant mech strategy game slash action I guess you should say because you have to aim, you have to dodge, and you have to decide do I want to move forward and get shot at or do I want to take the crappier shot here and just go with it because if you're staying still you don't get shot at until the enemy's turn off, of course, but on your own turn. If you're familiar with XCOM, it's... I, I guess you could kinda say it's like Overwatch, permanent Overwatch for the enemy. Some people might say, that sounds stupid. It's really not. It really does make you seem like, or make you think like, do I want to get it to a better shot? Or do I want to just... yeah. Anyway, this is the tutorial, because I figured... Might as well show this, because I was, uh... It, it's a little bit... Handholdy, but it's the training, and trust me, you're gonna need the training in this game. Why? Because of GP, AP, and ah, uh, crap, what's the other resource? I forgot. But yeah, you can play this on keyboard. You don't have to use the controller like I was doing there. I just found it a little bit more intuitive to use the controller, considering they put the thing right on the screen with the controller. But don't worry, you can play with the with the mouse and keyboard. And this game. If you've ever played, like, say, or I'm sorry, if you've ever watched anything like Gundam, uh, Big O, Blue Gender, any kind of classic mech anime, the developers and creators themselves said that's what they took inspiration from. I'm imagining they want you to feel like, well, a character in an anime. You're a pilot, well, not, I don't think you're a pilot, I think you're the commander, but I believe the full game you'll be able to recruit pilots, you'll be able to customize your. Oh crap, what was that? The drop ship that you drop the mechs off in? There's like, I think they said they're planning on being about 30 hours of gameplay or story mode anyway. There's player planning on multiplayer if they can get the funding for it. I'm gonna put the links below in the description below if you want to, you know, help them out. I would recommend it. If you don't want to, that's your business. I'm not gonna judge you, but I figured I would put this out there to help the creators out and maybe get them a little more funding. Because, I can tell this, like I said, this is gonna be a great game. Now, as for the tutorial here, you'll notice the thing on the left, obviously, as she's explaining here, that those are your weapons. Now, the first mission, you only got two weapons, two basic guns. But in the alpha so far, I've only seen two missions. I didn't really go past the second mission because it was quite a doozy and I got my butt kicked and lost two of, two of my arms on one of my mech. Yes, there is destructible mechs. If you get shot in the arm repeatedly, you lose your arm. If you lose your arm, you can no longer use the weapon in your right arm slot. And there you see that that's this is how you aim, hit right trigger. I think on the mouse and keyboard it's like space bar. I shouldn't say that, I don't know that, I'm being ignorant. But yeah, there is damage. Now it's not just you get shot in the arm, boom, your arm falls off. There are armor points, you have to deplete all your armor points on your limbs before you get in danger zone. Once you lose all your armor points on a given limb, well, if you keep getting shot there, bye-bye arm. And yes, the explosions are pretty satisfying. I like the little debris that went flying, and I mean, that's that's a nice touch for a pre-alpha. It's not, that's not standard. And. I'm not, this, isn't going, this is not going to be, excuse me, this is not going to be a really long thing. I just wanted to show you some gameplay to get you to look forward to this game, and you can download it yourself. I'll put that in the description below where you can download it as well. So you can play it yourself and just go, wow, this guy sucks. Because I, I admit, I do, I'm not very good at strategy games, alright? I, I really wish I was, I used to be, but... This, they kind of just say, go do it yourself. <laughs> because at this point, it's just, yeah. I'm going to ex I'm going to kind of show you here what the dodging system's like, at least for now, because I don't think I have the do the dash. Well, not right there, but essentially, what happens when you move, which I'll show you here shortly, is the enemy gets free shots on you. Like I said before, this sounds really really annoying, but in actuality, it's well, it can be. <laughs> I'll, no, I'll admit that it's a polite annoyance, but. It's not game-breaking, like, oh my god, this is just not a fun. See, now they're aiming at me, but you can dodge it. 
Now, if I actually would dash there, I would have gotten out of the way a hell of a lot faster, but there's no point to dashing right there. It was only, you know, conventional weapon fire. It didn't really hurt all that much, even if it would hit me. But there are some turrets in the game that shoot missiles. There are some turrets in the game that use the conventional weapons, and I've been shot with a railgun before. <laughs> At least I think it was a railgun. It, it looked like a railgun from XCOM, but... Now, if you're worried, what kind of weapons are we going to be using in this game? Well, I'll tell you. I'll get into that a little later, showcase them all that I found so far. I found a sword. You can just punch things, which is just funny enough, and really, really satisfying and visceral when you get down to it. There are missile launchers. Multiple missile launchers. A freaking artillery cannon mounted to your shoulder. Uh, I'm trying to think of the other ones. There are guided missiles. There are... Ah, oh, crap, what was the other one? I know there was more. There's a shotgun type mech that in, this, in the second mission. There is... I'm guessing there's going to be a lot more weapons, too. Because, you know, this is only, like I said, pre-alpha, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what is going to be going on here. But we've been in the tutorial long enough. I'm going to skip forward to the second mission, because that's where stuff starts really picking up. Right, well, now we finally got some weapons. And that's the shotgun mech right there, I believe. Now we're actually fighting mechs. You know, the things that can actually fight back with the crap. And this is where things start getting interesting. Because if you start screwing around too much on this part, uh, you won't really lose in the, in the first wave or two. I think there's like three waves of enemies. I mean, that hurts. That's 700-something damage right there to the face. But, as you can see, I've already put in some work on that thing. It no longer has an arm. I really love the effect there as well. The sparks flying off. That's actually really nice. And let's start showcasing some weapons here instead of just watching me get shot on the enemy's turn here, shall we? Okay, so let's show off the thing that I'm sure a lot of people want to see. The Sword Slash. And this is a very powerful attack if you get it right. Yes, it just breaks the crap out of things if you do it right. And it's so satisfying to just... Uh, you Feel free to throw in your own anime phrase here and there, alright? I'm not gonna do that on camera. I may have done it when I was recording it, don't get me wrong, but uh, not on camera. So, let's move on to the next one. I love that sword, by the way. Now, the shotgun... It's a little bit difficult to aim. As you saw the reticule for it, it is kind of all over the place. And yes, I'm getting shot in the back because I didn't realize that they were going to come up behind me. And I paid the price for it tactically. But the shotgun does have a very wide aim variance, but if you get, if you hit someone with it, oh man, does it hurt. Next up, we have the very classic missile. And who doesn't love just launching a missile at somebody? It is lock-on. There are multiple variants. Well, a multiple variant, meaning you can fire multiple missiles at once. Unfortunately, it kind of eats up your action points, so you have to make sure, do I really want to do that or not? Of course, you know, it's risk v. reward whether you want to fire off a barrage of missiles, but I guess we'll show that off next, because that can really hurt. You can actually target different parts of a mech at the same time with that one. Now this is going to be a little bit weird, you're going to think, what, I thought you were showing the missiles. I am going to show the missiles. I'm showing you that you can actually lock on with your first thing, and actually just go, eh, I don't know if I want to do that first. I think I might want to do something else first. You can do that if you have enough action points, or if I'm misunderstanding, and I might be well in misunderstanding. I'm not, I'm not really sure on everything yet. But yeah, you can fire, and then just decide, oh yeah, that's still locked on. I could do that, couldn't I? Now that thing's it's pretty much a waste, considering it's pretty much disabled. But dude, how, how satisfying was that? <laughs> Sometimes a guy just wants to blow something up with missiles, man. You can't use logic on that. Now comes the big daddy of blowing crap up. The artillery-mounted, sho or shoulder-mounted artillery, I'm sorry. Now this thing is a difficult thing to aim. There's no real reticule that I could see. I might be blind as a mole here, but I didn't see it. And if you miss, well, that you miss. But I've never actually successfully hit. I'm imagining that there's a ton of damage. So let's take a little bit of a back step here and show you what punching things is like. I really, I probably, now that I think about it, I should have put this back with the, with the sword slashing, but it will work all the same here. Now to punch things, it's basically the same as a sword slash. Uh, who'd have thought you had to get close to punch something, but it does happen. You don't have propelled uh, fists. As awesome as that would be, it, uh, it isn't. 
but I don't know if it does as much damage as a sword. Well, it doesn't really matter because there's a turret, but anyway, I guess I probably should have paid attention to the numbers. Hopefully you're more observant than I am. Imagining it doesn't do as much as a sword, but, you know, who's to say? Someone with actually pays attention, so who can say, not me. Anyway, I'm going to show you what I thought was a railgun. I think it's actually a laser weapon, judging by the dialogue in the second mission. So I'm going to show you the laser weapon. I, I say it looks like a railgun, but who am I to say? Uh, I don't have it. I get shot by it. And let's see how that goes for me. Now, needless to say, you don't actually want this to happen, especially look at that thing. <laughs> you don't really want this to happen, but at the same time, you're like, I do want to see what it looks like. And I, I guess I'll be the, the one to show you, the one to get shot by it so you don't have to. And there goes the second arm. And this thing is essentially just target practice now, and I'm guessing in the final game if you lose mechs or you lose their arms, I'm guessing you might have to repair. I do not want to say that's going to be for sure. I do not want to speak for the developers. I think it'd be a neat idea. It, it would be annoying, but it'd be really neat. And uh, yeah, that's what the railgun laser thingy looked like, and it hurts like heck. In summation, ladies and gentlemen, if you like mechs and you like strategy games with a little bit of action dashed in, you will love this game. At least I think you will. I'm going to be playing this for quite a bit longer tonight, actually. And hopefully I shall see you next time. By the way, if you want to help fund this, remember to check this, the links in the description below. Farewell, until next time.